for Flipper. Okay, no, I, th I mean, the question here is not you are ready? who is going to win, but for, for how many okay. scores. But let's see, because uh, Spain has been improving and getting better. At, um, at, so Team should be maybe start. we get a surprise. Okay. White ready. Blue ready. Commentators ready. Go! Here we are. Flipper got the ball very fast. Playing through the defense, the forging defense of Barcelona, and gets stuck. Well done by Barcelona. The uh, Barcelona tries to create some mayhem here uh, in the middle of the pool and go within everything they have to stop them from breaking through and doing a quite a good job. But here we go. Flipper is getting. Whoa, that was decisive. Uh, this is my ball. Go away. Movement. Um, Flipper is now in the corner waiting for all the players coming in and here we go the first attack but uh, interrupted by Barcelona players but flipper players are still in ball position coming now right in front that should could be Michael Rasmussen Michael Rasmussen uh, who went in and he's just uh, plugging out uh, off the defense but nevertheless uh, the defense of Barcelona succeeded in uh, not catching a goal so here we go again, the next wave of uh, Flipper goes in and they attack from the close side. And here we go, the first goal, which is a uh, little bit more than one minute in the first half. Yeah, so far the faster goal for the ones from Orca against um, the Czech team in 28. We have here interesting information from Andreas uh, Wieland, who said uh, Flipper recently lost their first match in the Danish league since three years with no lost match. So this uh, so well, big changes and yeah. and uh, you know one of the lead what some of the leading teams exactly. Uh, well, this is a, a cycle that all of the best teams uh, in the world have been uh, through, and this is a cycle every year where you lose uh, suddenly. Uh, Good players, players because, because of, of age, in injury. age injury or you know burnout as well and then y if you lose three to five players then you go back you know a few steps yep. into and the, the development. older the that older you get to us as well i mean in the last five years we've been trying to we 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 won the the national league in german league for 10 years straight and then we won the champions cup four times and we did second and third place in this five years where we here the we team. go nice attack from the open side uh, the uh, the ball carrier came over the goalkeeper and pass to the player waiting on the open side but they didn't succeed uh, well defended uh, by Barcelona and Barcelona does not try to go into this physical game they go for the ball and try to push away the ball and uh, keep the the ball away oh there was a difficult uh, pass back uh, to the goal without any goalkeeper there but uh, nevertheless Barcelona managed to, to keep hold of the ball and to go away without Flipper being able to score on the empty basket well done. Here we go again. Flipper is coming in. Uh, even the Flipper player do uh, like this. They look, that could be Mikael Rasmussen going in. Let me check. Number 14 um, should be him. Where's my list? I'm back in the game. Number 14, Mikael Rasmussen. Yes. Uh, ha! And uh, we have a fight on the surface. And uh, next wave comes in. And the attack from the close side of the basket into the defense. Didn't succeed. Second wave comes in again from the close side. Tackled away by a cluster of players. And now from the open side. But the pass didn't go down that straight for the player waiting there. And there uh, was already a Barcelona player waiting uh, uh, to interrupt. <coughs> well, defense uh, by Barcelona. They can be quite uh, proud of what they're doing here. And uh, Flipper does not get into the rhythm the way I thought they would against Barcelona. So uh, either they are holding back, which uh, what I don't think at this uh, point of the game and with the first game uh, here in Champions Cup, uh, or uh, Barcelona is really uh, doing a nice job. And again, uh, they try to do the system over the to swim over the goalkeeper and pass to the one waiting on the open side. Uh, but no success yet. And uh, we are 
almost five minutes in the first half and it's a 1-0 lead for Flipper from Denmark against Barcelona from Spain. And finally, uh, my voice is, uh, and my brain is a little warmed up to commentating and I can talk a little bit faster and tell you what is happening there. Because what we try to do is tell you exactly what we see to be your eyes on the screen so you don't have even have to watch. And again, we have an attack from the close side, one attacker waiting on the open side. But there uh, was one player missing and the ball went into the hands of a uh, Barcelona player. And they try to break through, but there is one player against against uh, two flipper players and there's a call from the referee from the heferee, head referee no call from referee uh, against white free throw against white against Barcelona well, it's a chance for flipper to go for a free throw but they don't even try to snatch away uh, the basket like uh, the all cup players did uh, on every free throw that was uh, in their favor so here comes flipper again Three players going in, but not going for the kill. They dive uh, to the surface and wait from the corner side. And here comes uh, Rasmussen again. He tries it from the front. And uh, I think there are players waiting on both sides of the basket at the wall. But again, uh, well defended and uh, pushed away by the defense of Barcelona. Quite a good job they're doing here. Um, in my opinion, the flipper players even seem bodily heavier than the Barcelona players, and that's quite a feature to push them away and keep them away in this game. Where real blade? Here we go. Flipper still uh, dominating the game and again attacking from the open side, um, but uh, tackled away again by a Barcelona player, and they even uh, succeeded and getting the ball, but are now on the surface, and we have a surface game. I don't see if there is a cluster up there, but uh, looks like Barres are free. And here we go, one uh, against one against two, two flipper players, one uh, goalkeeper, and that for sure is a goal against these experienced players from uh, Denmark. Um, you see as number soon 25. number 25 um, from flipper which is Sigurd Kreve Didieriksen. Sorry if I, spelled, uh, if I speak the name wrong, um, but Blue scored, so it's a 2-0 after seven minutes into the first half of this game, Champions Cup uh, 2017 here in Berlin. My name is Wolf, and uh, normally Lorena is with me, but she's uh, going for a coffee, I think. So I'm alone in this game, and here we go again. Flipper is... Uh, Moving in from the, the open side, which is always a, a dangerous side to wait for because the exchange divers, uh, the exchange players are jumping in and you don't see them coming from your blind side behind you. There's a mask even down on the ground. I uh, wonder what there happens. So uh, we go uh, with Flipper from uh, the close side into the basket, but there is uh, now we, the, the player tries to swim around the basket stopped and the next wave comes in it's quite relentless uh, we see what uh, flipper does here and uh, for sure they dominate uh, the game there was a sign for holding the neck attacking the head so it's a free throw against flipper and flipper is uh, taking possession of their uh, basket at once because there was one Barcelona player, player uh, trying to go there and we have one player from Barcelona waiting at the flipper basket. Uh, it was almost a pa pass interception by Flipper. And uh, Flipper didn't succeed in uh, catching the ball. And Barcelona is still in ball possession. Now we have a call from a referee thing it was holding without ball. And it's again a free, free throw, throw against, against uh, Flipper. Again, Flipper is faster to protect the basket. And the Spanish player didn't succeed in diving down fast enough to snatch it away. Uh, that was a, a, a weak moment from one of the uh, Spanish players. He wasn't focused and lost the ball. Um, lost the ball to a flipper player who had just plucked it out of the hands of uh, the Barcelona player. And that's always dangerous because when your team 
thinks you are in attack mode and go forward and you lose this ball in the movement, you lose all momentum to go for the, for the enemy basket and you have to swim back and you swim behind the attackers. But luckily this time Barcelona uh, didn't catch a goal right away. So we have now a heavy attack here on the open side and you see with much how much force uh, the, the players from Denmark go into the basket and it means something to the defense of Barcelona to withstand this avalanche. Another call from the referees and the first half is over. So it's a 2-0. Well, I, I had expected that it might more, be yeah. probably a little more. That's what I said before also, that I know that Barcelona has been working a lot in improving their tactic, and they have been improving a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're eating here and there. <laughs> we are starving. We were having some uh, French fries. French so um, they improve a lot the defense. Also, the, the women, uh, in the past, we have seen Spain lost for 22-0, I believe, when they just started 10 years ago or over 10 years ago playing the Champions Cup. So right now, 2-0 for the first half. It's really against uh, and against uh, a team like uh, Flipper. It's really already a success. It's already a victory uh, from the Spanish perspective, to my eyes at least. Yeah, we had uh, one of the players from Barcelona, Camilo, was with us in the underwater rugby academy you see him here in the picture and um, um, he's also one of the innovators in underwater rugby he's really um, he's really into changing and doing something to bring underwater rugby globally underwater rugby forward and um, we agreed um, the next step should be to collect data and information and knowledge and to which is dispersed around uh, the globe in certain players with uh, enough experience. And we agreed all in the uh, Underwater Rugby Academy, and me and Camilo for sure, we have to collect this knowledge and uh, present it somehow, put it out there uh, in a way that it is accessible to everyone. Because when you start as a coach with a new team or as a player, it's so difficult to get information. You have some videos online, you have some information, you have scratches and pieces there, but you, uh, if you're lucky, you have a coach or an experienced player with you. But otherwise, you left alone like uh, it was for me, and you have to start from scratch and go uh, with yeah. nothing. Yeah, you have to learn by the try and error, and that's really a very slow procedure to get better. I mean, and that's, that's, and that's stupid a because we have the knowledge. The yeah. knowledge is and out it there. Dies. And that's a pity because you have the knowledge in a country with the person that was the most, um, the, the oldest one playing, the most active playing, maybe play for other teams, for other countries, learn new techniques, new tactics. And then eventually the person stopped playing. And then if there was no one else that at least could catch at least a bit of that experience or that knowledge, then it's you gone. Start again. So what we what we try to do with the um, underwater rugby academy is find means to collect this knowledge, uh, put it into a form where it could be presented Samos, and it is accessible. So enough from the uh, academy. Thanks for listening. We Quite will talk ready. about it a little bit more, and we go back in the game. Camera, please, back in the game. In the water, please. Thank you for showing us the pool, but it doesn't give us much insight into our underwater rugby game. Thank you. Here we go. Barcelona trying to do a fast game, but losing the ball while uh, playing fast. And here we have Flipper now going to the Spanish basket, which is now on the right side of the pool. But again, quite good defense uh, of uh, Spain. They fought uh, the, the attack from the heavy Flipper players off. And um, ball outside the game. And I guess... Uh, it's in favor of um, Flipper. Yeah, Flipper uh, uh, can execute up, free throw. It's a 2 0. Flipper is known to uh, stretch the time. Uh, I think last year or the year before, they hit the ball in the, uh, in the pool, which is uh, quite a feature in itself. So if they lead, they try to stretch the time. And we are in the second half here in Champions Cup 2017. It's the 29th Champions Cup. And you see uh, Flipper in blue from Denmark playing against Barcelona in white from Spain. And uh, Flipper is leading uh, with 2-0 against Spain. Well, we continue to see the 
player from Barcelona being into position. Uh, but I see that the the attacker that is supposed to be keeping the uh, the attackers of of the, of the Danish team away are just too passive, and then they let the goalie and the defender to get pretty much uh, the waves, and and that's that's tiring. I mean, now uh, we have a still uh, the the Danish team trying to build up waves, and they're passing the ball. You have one, two, or three players underneath. Now we have one attacking from the open side, have been stopped by one of the defenders, and uh, you don't see. A play where you, they lost the ball again. They're passing uh, down the, the the ball between the Danish players and trying to get the pull the goalie away. However, they lost the ball. One of the Barcelona players is trying to swim away, but got intercepted by the Danish team and lost the ball. Now the goalie is alone. Just recovered the ball, but it is fighting with. Um, being intercepted by one of the Danish players. The same happened to the next Barcelona player that tried to hold the ball and lose it. Now we have two from the Danish players in the basket and just one Barcelona player that is trying to recover and, and just this is a matter of, of, of time until the goal uh, falls into the basket because it's just there was no structure, there was no player really into position. They were Go just blue, trying to four. rescue the situ one situation after the other. They were lucky for three or four times, but they were not... Normally you can just one or twice, but then one of the players needs to recover the ball and just swim away. Otherwise, well, eventually the ball is inside the basket. So now we have the Spanish team getting into the half... <laughs> of the field of the Danish team at least and trying to go over the close corner but uh, they lost the ball and now Flipper is trying to swim away but they're fighting for the ball in the third but the, the Barcelona recover the ball is trying to come over the close side over the corner against the defender um, there's quite a fight on that side and uh, they get pulled away and to the surface the Spanish uh, play recovered the ball as it fell but was intercepted one of the Danish dif um, players however they are still two meters away from the basket of Flipper and they're <coughs> trying to get close and attack but the wave we have now two trying to attack then um, the next one is online to get the pass but uh, the one with the ball didn't pass it on time and lost it. Now Flipper recovered the ball and uh, is trying to swim away, away. But the forward checking of Barcelona is also quite good. I mean, they're, tr they're having also quite uh, good underwater time and almost get a uh, score in an empty basket. And let's see. So that was the situation. Happened. One one player from Spain was holding the Flipper player, and the player from uh, Flipper um, it was holding the feet of the Flipper player. And the free player was still continuing to paddle. And it was a bit um, dangerous. Yeah. So the referee just said... Um, time out wide! Time out wide! Time out for I the guess Spanish I guess the call team. from the referee was because of the continued kicking of the um, flipper player while Peter, being held at the feet. But now they have a, a free, uh, a a free time throw out. against blue or what? Yeah, free throw against Auto blue or oh, what? <laughs> I think it's uh, Jochen Beckmann yeah, there. Yeah, that's a question. How it's going on? Alles ah, klar. Okay. Free throw against blue. So yeah. free throw. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. I think that, that was exactly the decision. What we saw, uh, the danger when you hold okay. a player um, while kicking uh, his fin stroke. And you hold him close to your face could be dangerous to all these. Yeah, uh, but that is internationally allowed. I mean, this in Germany we yeah, have. But, but as a referee, you, your foremost so uh, uh, task as a referee is to protect the players. So yes. in this case, I would have made the call too. But uh, um, Barcelona is doing a good job with a 3 0 in the second half. Hurry up, boys! Yeah, the but then they're doing a good job defending. Just yeah. the, the last yeah, yeah, goal was yeah. a little bit chaotic because, uh, of course, Flipper builds up pressure, and then 
it's difficult for Barcelona to keep it uh, to keep that pressure, and eventually they do really uh, many mistakes and then flip a, a score. But now we are in the middle of the field, and uh, Barcelona is trying to get closer to the basket. in the close corner but the flipper player to record the ball is trying to get over the half and Barcelona tries to insert, intercept or at least try to slow them down so that they cannot go in a fully counter-attack through the bottom of the pool it has been uh, uh, the case a few times but not that often Barcelona is fighting with everything they can and uh, they're doing a good job 3-0 of it's really a good, uh, it's a very good match. They're, they're defending with all what they can, but they, the defender just missed where the ball was. And uh, one of the other players of Barcelona could rec almost recover the ball. But now we have one of the flippers with the ball under the goalie, which is being pulled <laughs> away from some of the Spanish uh, players. Now flippers try to build up another wave, recover the ball and pass it they you know oh that was uh, a bit of a, a, a mistake on, of a pass i mean the that was not attentive and um, loose almost but nevertheless um <clears throat> i think uh, a three zero is a honorable win um, okay, uh, from ben's five. barcelona against flipper Okay, we have a free throw uh, from Flipper against Barcelona. And Flipper is staying on the surface waiting uh, to attack. And here we go, there is one player already waiting at the basket. Now, nah, it was a little bit, um, 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 how do you say, uh, no that was obvious. Number 10. And when you have an obvious situation, uh, it's either you don't have the air or uh, you don't have the well you, you don't see the situation but from from our point of view what flipper was doing there was obvious waiting until the defense had to go up waiting on the service then go down when your own player is down and you're alone with the goalkeeper and that's what happened and uh, they scored thank you julian uh, julian caicedo for uh, telling me i'm uh, uh, spelling uh, barcelona right i tried to do my best since i have an argentinian girlfriend uh, to at least speed right and we have here another goal sorry for speaking stupid things while not being in the game there was okay. a fast counter attack blue, and uh, the goalkeeper wasn't um, fast enough down and uh, the flipper player pushed uh, the ball in between the head uh, and the shoulders of the uh, Spanish player but I think we come to the point where the Spaniards are quite exhausted um, because they try to fend off a, a bodily, physically heavy attack off from, uh, from Flipper all the time. And this takes its toll, this costs you. And uh, these pass interceptions like this, they cost you even more because you have to swim uh, behind the, the attacking wave. And here we go again, one on one on the basket. But that take, took a little bit too long for the Flipper player to establish his push on the on the goalkeeper and so he didn't manage to push him out and put the ball in and the defense had time to snatch away the ball and uh, now we see uh, the Spanish players fighting in their own uh, goal zone with the ball from uh, against Flipper and uh, again they push a little bit further or stopped in the in the half of the pool but they can break through and there's still uh, energy here in uh, the Barcelona players, they go quite uh, um, quite decisive forwards and there's one player on the waiting on the open side uh, but the ball didn't reach him, it got stopped in the uh, corner side and close side and now we see Flipper again and the counter attacks of Flipper are much more decisive and much more faster to the to the basket of Barcelona but this player was stopped and there's another one ahead and that's another goal quite sure um, yeah, I think we, we see it uh, as, as uh, the exhaustion in the players from Barcelona in the last 13, 12 seconds, and it's a 6-0, but nevertheless, uh, they did quite well, and uh, 
It looks like they have, have more experience. To go to the wall okay. And then start. Not all the players have been on the <laughs> Not all the players uh, have been on the on the wall side. So you have to reset.